find the heat that has been added to a gas when the pressure of the system remains constant. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at the original condition of your gas from the PV diagram. You want to estimate your original volume, which I would estimate here at about 1.6 meters cubed, and your original pressure, which I would estimate at about 90 kilopascals. Using those two values and the fact that there are 56 moles, we solve for the original temperature. And the original temperature of our chamber turns out to be 309 Kelvin. We then want to find the original kinetic energy. We get the kinetic energy for a mole of particles at this temperature by doing 3 halves RT, where R is the ideal gas constant. Once we get that kinetic energy, we want to multiply by the number of moles, which in this case is 56, and we're going to get 216 kilojoules. Okay, we now know how much energy our sample possesses, and what we want to do next is expand our gas. So let's get this writing out of the way. Okay, and then let's click on our gas to start the expansion process. You can see heat entering the system. You can see work being done by the gas. You can see your pressure remaining constant and your volume increasing. When the process stops, you want to get your new volume, which looks like about 2.8 meters cubed. We use the same pressure we had before, which was about 90 kilopascals, and we find our new temperature, again using PV equals NRT, so that'll be temperature 2. Once you have your new temperature, you then want to find your new kinetic energy. The temperature turns out to be 541 Kelvin get the kinetic energy again 3 halves RT then you multiply by your number of moles we get 378 kilojoules we then look at the energy at the end and the energy at the beginning and we subtract and we can see how many kilojoules have been added to the internal energy of the molecules and it turns out that we have 162 kilojoules Okay, but more than that heat went in because our, our system also did work on its environment. We get work by doing pressure times delta volume. Our pressure is 90 kilojoules. Again, we want to work, or kilopascals. We want to work in regular pascals. Our change in volume, we went from about 1.65 to about 2.8, so we subtract. That would be about 1.25 for our change in volume. Gives us a work done of 108 kilojoules. Okay, so our system did 108 kilojoules worth of work. There is 162 kilojoules still inside that were not there before. So the heat that entered our system must be the sum of those two answers. So that's about 270 kilojoules. Okay, to test that we did this right, we want to hit the end button. We want to put in our name, which we don't need to do for this demo. And then we want to put in the amount of heat in kilojoules and submit. Okay, we see we're off by only 4 kilojoules. Again, the discrepancy is solely because of our estimations of pressure and volume.